Hello all, Emrix here. Uh, as it's uh, such a beautiful day uh, and the tide looks like it's to be a spring one, and it's coming up uh, washing uh, the cliff away at the base on the beach and uh, I thought it would be the ideal opportunity to uh, do a little bit of fossil hunting today. Uh, it's so beautiful. Um, Billy no makes them on the own uh, but it's very beautiful, quiet and tranquil. It's, it's very good for the soul and I thoroughly enjoy just literally just pottering around just seeing what I can find. Anyway, um, wish me luck to see what we can do. Right, I've just been walking along the beach. It's a beautiful hot day. Um, just to give you an idea of the weather we have. And looking very, very closely, look at this. You can see a gastropod tip there. Um, looks like it could be a whole one. It looks like a nice one as well. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put the phone down while I dig it out because it's going to be tough, sticky uh, clay and uh, I'll, let, I'll just fire up the phone in a moment just to show you what I found. Fingers crossed it might be pretty much intact but I think very very careful in that. Now. Right I've dug the block out here and you see the gastropods actually inside so I'm just gonna, I might be able to just peel it apart now. Oh it looks like it's unfortunately it's a bit broken. Oh, it's not as big as what I thought it was but it's not a bad little specimen. Oh, there you go. It's missing the tail end, but I'm quite happy with that. I'll take that fragment that just fell off as well. Uh, yeah, it's not got the tail end. It's missing. Been missing for a long time. And there you have it. Lovely little gastropod. Right, let's just get that fragment over here and take that with us as well. Fantastic. Right, let's get on with the searching. Right, the sea has been crashing up through here. I've had to leave the beach, but I've come back now. The tide's subsided a little bit and the waves are uh, a lot further out. And um, look what we see. Another gastropod being, uh, you know, you can see the uh, clay's been washed away and exposed it. And uh, it'd be interesting to see how intact this one is. Anyway, let's get digging. Right, here we have it. Uh, you can see the hole I've dug out. I've dug out this clump around it and the tail end doesn't look too bad. be interesting to see. I think it's, it's of the same similar species to one we had before, but smaller. Oh, this is very, very sticky uh, clay. So I'm going to have to put the phone down for a moment. Be right back. And there you have it. Uh, not a bad specimen. It's got a little bit of a, a crack down the shell, but it's being held together by the clay that's inside, which I generally leave in to keep it solid. And um, yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Very nice. It, made, it sort of has that lovely sort of brown chocolatey colour when it comes out the clay, which is nice. That'll probably go a lot lighter when it's dried out. But yeah, fantastic. Slightly small. Um, slightly smaller uh, specimen but uh, still fantastic and uh, look at that beautiful well I've been up and down here a few times and uh, the seas been um, eroding away uh, this sort of cliff that's fallen in and it's surprising what you can miss I mean I thought it was a stone but if, you, if we have a look down here check this out this looks like the main body of a gastropod a huge one um, <laughs> and I didn't even notice it, um, it just looks like a stone, but I'm sure that's a gastropod and the tide keeps coming up over here, it's still very wet so I have to be careful, but I'm going to dig that out and have a look, wow, very pleased about that, that looks very interesting, it's all exciting stuff, you never know what you're going to dig out, but anyway, let me have a go, because it's quite hard, solid clay. Well I'm glad uh, my phone is waterproof, because it fell out of my pocket and the tide, um, waves come up and almost washed it away uh, unfortunately you know the it can go into about a meter of water so I'm safe uh, every so often I get the freak wave that does come up you can see it's coming up very very close and you can see I've got this far so far I don't know which way I'm looking at the thing and I don't want to break the tail end off if there is a tail end um, so I just got to keep plodding on very very carefully but it looks to be quite a nice size gastropod anyway carry on digging Right, I've come off the uh, 
the beach and because uh, it's the tide keeps coming up and wash, almost washing me away and uh, I've dug you can see I've dug the complete uh, section out so I don't damage you know I keep damage to a minimum and uh, here he is here you have this big lump of clay and you can see that lovely looking gastropod inside <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> mm, cough anyway um I don't really want to carry around this weight the rest of the day so I'm just going to try and peel off some of the excess weight and see what we've got. It doesn't look like we've got a tail end on it. That looks like it's been broke off a long, long time ago. But it would be nice to have a nice front end at least. Oh, that's looking pretty. So far, I don't want to. I might actually um, leave half of it in this clay clod to just protect it. Um, and that looks like you've got the. At least I've got the tip, uh, the no tip of the nose on there. Um, obviously we're missing the can't remember the technical name for it, the tail end I call it um, but look you can see that it's likely to be the whole gastropod in there I'm very pleased with that look at that lovely anyway I shall um, just add a little bit of video uh, when I get home uh, to show you the shell completely out of this lump of clay so if you stay on to the end of the video you'll see it out the end of uh, you know I would have had it sort of washed it in water and cleaned it up I've just rinsed a few of these off you can see how diddy some of them get they get so small let me put my finger there so you get an idea of how small they can get you go all the way up all different species of gastropod there's a couple of the ones that you saw me digging out there's a really unusual one over here that I really like. It's very un of an unusual shape. Uh, it needs cleaning up a little bit, but it's a really beautiful little thing. Uh, and we've got the slightly bigger ones. And we've got that huge one. Uh, there's some good points with it and some bad points. The bad points, it lost its tail we saw earlier. And it did disintegrate. A lot of this wasn't even there. I have got a little bit of the shell that I might be able to patch together. But... Um, the actual uh, majority of it had just gone many, many years ago. Uh, but one interesting thing about it, this gastropod, is you can see it was in its life, it was actually plagued with l like parasitic limpets all over it, and uh, that, which is unusual. Um, I've not seen that before, but I'm sure there's a technical name for those limpets, but you can imagine they're just limpets that will suck onto its shell hitch a ride, etc. But it was uh, plagued with them.